G'day, and how's it going? Just the final little video on uh, this little Revell German uh, Midget Submarine Seahound, um, the 172nd scale reboxing of the ICM kit. So, basic instruction was done in previous videos. We've gone through all the parts. I've just come to the painting stage now, and we're going to talk about paint. Now, the kit was painted in the uh, Revell colours that came, the acrylic colours that came in the starter set and I used them through an airbrush uh, my airbrush is a uh, Chinese eye water knockoff, my chai water um, which I've had for a few years now and it's been a really really good airbrush this was thinned with just normal everyday tap water and what I can say about this paint is it's really 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 good um, I'm glad that Revell are using a very good uh, acrylic water based paint in a starter kit for younger modelers that doesn't smell, it cleans up well, it brushes on well, it airbrushes well and I wish the reps here, and this is a call out to the reps in Australia, please why can't we get some of this to try because I think it's absolutely very fantastic paint, I'm very very impressed with it. So the paint I highly recommend, it looks gluggy in the pot but once you mix it up and thin it down, it's it's really, really good, guys. So that's a big thumbs up to Ravel. Well done. So I'll get the little girl out. Um, and here she is. This is the... Uh, this is my uh, little Seahound submarine. Um, and what a nice little kit. It's it's not without its problems um, in the build, but, you know, it's, it's a good step up for um, a guy... Uh, who wants to improve a few things on the kit and and it's it's a nice little subject to practice a bit of weathering on and that's what I've done with this is practice a little bit of ship weathering because I've got a pretty good group a big group builder a good one that I want to I want to sort of build a couple of kits for and uh, I wanted to practice a few things with rust and and bits and pieces like that and uh, I used this little subject for it uh, the kit was painted with the uh, with the Ravel acrylics I'll just zoom her in here a little bit and you might be able to pick all the faults in it but the uh, the kit was painted in the uh, put this in there the Ravel acrylics um, once what I said before are very 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 good um, then I've gone through and I've clear coated the model after that uh, applied the decals which still silvered on me a little bit now that could be me and the Ravel decals. I think to be I, I seem to be having a bit of an argument with Ravel decals lately. Um, so it might not be if the deck was folded, it could be me. Um, so I'm not blaming anything there yet on, on the decals. Uh, but once the deck was done, another bit of clear coat over the top. Um, and then uh, I, I went over with a bit of uh, Tamiya Brown panel line wash. Uh, during the painting process, this is highlighting a few, uh, you know, centres of of the panels um, or the uh, bulkheads, and and then uh, panel line wash uh, of brown, and then picked out a few more details, and then went through and uh, picked out more details again, added a bit of variation in tones by using the Tamiya weathering set with the rust in it and I left the torpedoes fairly fairly new um, just so it looks like it's been refitted and uh, it's heading back out to sea um, they do tell me that this particular it should have a um, a clear hatch part on top there so that's one thing that Zavesta could look at as well but overall really really nice kit guys um, do yourselves a favour, and if you, if you see it floating about on sale somewhere, grab it and, and build it. And it's a one seventy second scale submarine for a good price because you're not going to spend a couple of hundred bucks on uh, one of the bigger bigger Ravel U boats. And uh, a good little thing just to put a variation in the cupboard. And what I have noticed too, there will be some very interesting um, Dorama possibilities with this, like being on a dry dock or being transported on the back of a some sort of German truck and their big slip trailers and things and I looked on, on uh, online and there's some very very good videos of that so that's it guys um, good little kit I love it I love what Ravel have done here um, 
it's a very good kit for a beginner. So until next time guys, take care. If you like the channel and like what I'm doing, please subscribe. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you think I'm doing um, okay with my videos too because what I'm trying to do is mix in a few um, just basic build stuff for people um, not trying to get into all the really high tech stuff you know just some basic good building again and and I think um, that's what we need back on YouTube it's just just the basics I mean I know all the other stuff's really really good but you know just some basic building again just to show people that you can do it you don't have to be geez I'm not a master of anything uh, but you can get a good result out of an old kit or an older kit or a new kit just with a little bit of effort and uh, that's what I always say. So God bless you. Take care. And um, till next time. See you later. And uh, model hard boys. Um, go and buy a submarine. Build it.